So I have once again, I know I have bought a lot of color stuff recently and it's not because I like spending money, but the current one she has on, the, um, whatchamacallit, it's just stretchy and it's kind of easy to put on, but I have noticed that it is losing its tightness. That is completely unacceptable because if I'm out hiking with her and it loosens over time, that's just really not good. I need the collar fit to be on properly all day and if it's not doing that, I need to get another one. So I got <laughs> another one. I'm happy that it's pink, but this one is similar where it has this stretchiness that I wanted to allow for some flexibility but since it's a buckle it's definitely like guaranteed will not lose its tightness so now i need to take it off her and put the e-collar receiver on this collar there we go ah <sighs> so much work right when i get home and she's just looking at me with her mouth open like a weirdo all right Okay, so me and my family friend Richard were kind of randomly talking about how we liked handwriting stuff or like writing letters. So we decided to write each other a Christmas letter or card, whatever it is. And I am terrible because I wrote mine, I have the letter, I have the envelope, I have the stamp, I just haven't brought it to the post office so I need to do that. But I just got his card and it's pretty cool it looks plain but when you open it oh ta-da I actually wonder if he chose this card specifically because he's on a motorcycle but that's pretty cool and you know I don't think I've received a card for anything for quite a while so it's a pretty unique I feel a little bit nostalgic right now because I remember when I was in high school and when I was still extroverted I had a sweet 16 party at my house and there were a lot of people there and I just remember the feeling of getting a bunch of cards, opening them, reading what they wrote, getting gifts and all of that stuff and that's a feeling I haven't had in a long time so receiving this card is a nice feeling and um, definitely means a lot. I love handwriting stuff, so being able to write a letter to someone just feels really nice. <laughs> it is Wednesday, and I'm home for lunch, starving. It's been three hours since I last ate something. So instead of walking her first, I need to eat. Otherwise, I'm just going to be in pain the entire walk, which is kind of pointless. So actually, the past few days, since the end of the year is approaching, I have been watching a lot of movies from this year, hoping to find that next movie to add to my list, because right now I only have five, and I don't want to put a movie on there unless I really liked it more than average. So I watched movies like Columbus, I watched Brawl in Cell Block 99, there was a Korean movie Taxi Driver that I wanted to watch, but... Korean movies haven't really been doing it for me lately, so I'm not really sure I'm super motivated about that. Um, a couple of other ones I have lined up include Marshall, Thelma, Raw. I'm not sure if I want to watch or not. I've heard of that movie for a while now, but I don't know if it might turn out to be too artsy for me. Turns out the heat was probably a little too hot for her, so I might have walked a little longer than I should have. So she must be pretty thirsty. Break, good. These oranges actually look super nice. Oh, it is the middle of the week and I actually still have some leftovers for tomorrow's lunch. So this is my bootleg dinner for today. Actually a pretty decent dinner, I have to say so myself. Got some oranges, 
mango juice, dumplings, and then almonds. So I think overall it's pretty healthy and will be pretty delicious. Home for lunch and actually her, the chew toy that I bought for her just arrived. It's a deer antler. Oh, there's still some sticky, sticky stuff on here. But so this is like eight inches or so. It looks pretty good. It's supposed to be all natural. A lot of the stuff I was buying before she would get rid of in like 20 minutes and that's way too fast for me. I wanted her to have more of a longer enjoyment. I don't know if you can hear her behind me because she saw me take this out of the box and she's really excited. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? <laughs> she looks so funny when she has it in her mouth. Where are you gonna go? You're funny. Don't drop it. Oh God. <laughs> you can have it right here. Wow, where are you going? Poppers. Good. Okay, so it's Thursday and ah, I didn't feel like cooking because I've been eating similar stuff for the past few days, so I decided to get a salad. So here we are, my green goddess cob. So with this one, I usually replace, um, I get rid of red pickled onions and then I add in strawberries and cucumbers. So this I am very eager to dig into. So first things first, I need to pick a movie to watch tonight. I think I do have a few options. Let's put this down here. Turn on some lights. Hi puppers. Okay, so right now I have Marshall and Taxi Driver. Taxi Driver, I'm not sure I want to watch because Korean movies have been very missed for me lately and it just looks like the type of movie I wouldn't be too into. But at the same time, I don't really have that many other options, I think. Just always sitting there, looking at me, when she is not on place. Don't worry, let me find a movie first please, and then she can chew her toy. Just have, just go all out, you know? Marshall, Marshall, do I want to watch Marshall? Marshall got 7.1 and an 83%. Has Josh Gad in it? He's pretty funny, Dan Stevens. Okay, I will give this movie a try. So, I feel a little foolish because I was rather hesitant to watch Marshall for some reason, even though it's over a seven, but I feel like after a couple movies that I've watched that are over a seven, which I was expecting more from that I didn't like, I'm becoming a little bit more hesitant about trusting IMDb ratings too much, but you know, I actually really liked Marshall um, thoroughly. Like, I don't think there was a moment in the movie where I was disinterested, which I find very impressive. Um, I have been watching Chadwick Boseman's movies for several years now. I really liked him in the Jackie Robinson movie. Um, and I think he's extremely, extremely talented. 
I will have to think about whether it is good enough to be on my list. Um, in terms of like how much it affected me, it's definitely not on par with other movies. But I would say that every single time I watch a movie about that time when things were so segregated and there was so much prejudice and hate, I guess I do feel a lot of deep appreciation for people like him, the character he played, Third, the character he played, Third Good Marshall, who stood up and did so much for their race, even though there was so much risk involved. Very impressed with the movie, I have to say. Josh Gad is adorable. Um, <laughs> he's just a funny guy. So it was nice to see him on screen with Chadwick. On a side note, I really miss playing something. I haven't been playing anything. Um, I was watching one of my Diablo videos over again just for fun, and I really would like to push more Raider Rifts. I just don't feel like that game is rewarding for how much time you put in it. So I just haven't had the motivation to farm anymore. Um, maybe I'll try a little bit right now, but I feel like lately I've been trying to play the game and then after maybe a rift or two, I would be like, man, this doesn't feel like it's worth me farming because I could farm so many hours and not get any upgrades and that's just not a really good feeling. So uh, I'm done with Hearthstone because I finished my dungeon runs. There's still nothing to do in WoW, and there, there probably won't be anything to do in WoW until the next expansion, or if I get into Alpha or Beta. And then Dota is an interesting one, because there are times where I am really tempted to play ranked, but it's so risky in a game like that, because you can just get a teammate that makes the game unenjoyable for you, and then you have to wait it out, because Dota doesn't have Surrender. So... I don't know. I, I feel like I don't have the ability to be patient in dealing with that stuff. I've been watching like two movies a day. I'm not sure if I feel like doing that today, which is why I need to find something to do.